The other day, it popped into my head that there was a kid in my class when I was in school. And um, I've just realised she had narcolepsy. She used to fall asleep at random times in class. I didn't know what narcolepsy was back then, so I wouldn't have put two and two together. I decided to look up some narcolepsy videos on YouTube because it was on my mind. So let's give them a watch. Hey, Bree. Hi. Good morning. Bree Valdez, a scared little teenage girl, spends each good day. So that'd be two pi radians. Fighting off the urge to say. Good night. When I get sleep attacks, it's like the equivalent of a normal person going three days without sleep. Leaving her with the overwhelming urge. I'm so tired. Well, if you need any more help when you wake up, just let me know, okay? <sighs> the overwhelming urge to go to sleep right in the middle of work, right in the middle of class. Bree has a disorder called narcolepsy. Like I didn't know that narcolepsy was even a thing a good day are you just gonna sleep right here full of good nights and good classmates who watch out for her i can trust people around me not to mess with me and stuff rest assured sometimes people will be like oh i wish i could take a nap whenever i wanted and it's like you you don't don't say that bloody hell so it makes you feel like you haven't slept for three days and you literally just Trying to get through the days, trying to force yourself to stay awake. Jimmy! Yeah, I suppose that must just be normal for him. Flipping hell, that must just be normal for him. Oh, I've just, I've, I've just woken up in a random place again. Maybe not even for the first time that day. Jesus, poor sod. We're here in Glenwood Springs at Colorado Mountain College to get a closer look into the life of a young lady living with a sleep disorder that only affects one to two percent of adults. Her name is Hannah Hall. The disability, narcolepsy. It involves periodic overwhelming sleepiness where the individual is launched into the REM cycle of sleep. Thanks, Taylor. I'm here with CMC photographer student Hannah Hall, who lives with narcolepsy. Hi, Hannah. How are you? I'm good, Megan. How are you? Good, thanks. Now, how is your norm what's a normal day for you living with narcolepsy? Um, well, it's pretty much like any anybody else's day. Uh, I go to my classes and, you know, I go to school like anybody else. And it's not that bad. I have a few episodes here and there, but I oh. get through it. Okay, if you don't mind me asking, how many episodes do you usually have a day? <laughs> Fuck um, off. Oh. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> Blink 182 t shirt on, no? Fair dues. Good taste of music. Advanced narcolepsy.
Scott's a prat. Obviously taking the piss. And it's weird. I was actually taking it serious for a second there. Not the video. But obviously he's up in the tree and he's falling asleep. Fuck off. But <laughs> but asleep at like at the at the wheel of a car. Like asleep asleep at the wheel. Can narcoleptic people are they allowed to drive? I've never thought of that before. Can narcoleptic people drive? Hmm. Huh. That's one of them ones, isn't it? Never thought about that before. I'm going to have to Google that. Let's grab my Android phone. Can narcoleptic people drive? According to Healthy Sleep, Harvard University. When sleepiness is under good control, many people with narcolepsy are safe to drive. Whoa, they're allowed to drive. That's fair enough. What does it say? When sleepiness is under good control, many people with narcolepsy are safe to drive. However, this is something else on the screen of my phone here. It says, however, they must know their limits. No shit. Some individuals may be, <laughs> may be safe driving around. I'm laughing at this explanation, by the way. <laughs> Fuck, you stupid. They must know their limits. For fuck's sake. Some, <laughs> some individuals may be safe driving around town for 30 minutes, but not on a four-hour boring highway drive. All right, fair enough. I was being a smart ass when it said know your limits, thinking it was vague, and then it went on to specifically explain what it meant by know your limits. That's fair enough. It's fair enough. It's what I get for being a smart ass. Yeah. You can drive, keep it short, know your limits. Yeah, that makes total sense as it goes. There we go. We've learned something. We've learned that narcoleptic people are allowed to drive. It feels like they haven't slept for three days when they're trying to keep themselves awake on a daily basis mental i wonder do, do people have different do, do people have narcolepsy like bad like worse than others is, is it on like a spectrum like, mm. you know i'm gonna leave that for you to google and um thank you for watching take care i'll see you next time